Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of Entropy Brewing, so pretty much a home brewer uh, outside the Pacific Northwest, uh, trying to uh, get towards professional Portland, Oregon. And I reviewed the base beer, which is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, which I thought was overly tannic. And I'm gonna have to clean that one up. And so this is the other take on it. This is the same beer. They blended some um, base beer into it. And this has vanilla, coconut, and cacao. So I think that might help the so I think it's quite dark, which is perfect. Big, big beer. I think this is a 14, yeah. And yeah, let's see how these ingredients uh, change beer. Uh, love being critical, and especially at that kind of level, I think it's the most important thing you do for yourself, um, trying to you know, be small or small to professional or small at all, is just be overly critical, because um, God forbid what happens on untapped, right? So very, very dark. But I also smell like the tannic notes already. Um, chocolate, for sure. Vanilla, very intense amount of vanilla, which is quite nice. A little bit of coconut in the background. Doesn't have any of these floaties, nothing kind of like that, but that dark head is great. It's a lot of what I uh, imagine to be um, roasted barley, or really dark malts in this one. So, and I see the head sort of fading away, so definitely the fat and the coconut is uh, crushing that, which is, you know, part of the part of the thing you're going to do. If you have um, coconut in your beer, it's going to, those lipids are going to um, affect the head. So quite nice. Uh, big bourbon and yotes as, as well. Yeah. I mean, it smells like a bourbon barrel aged beer with those uh, complex adjuncts. Sure. Smells awesome. Have it uh, warm up a little bit. Quite nice. Um, okay. So initial impression, that's already better. Um, yeah, for sure. Ooh, oh, big hit of booze on back. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't expect that one yet, but it's a big beer. Mmm. Big heat. Big heat on this one. For beer that, that big, it's hard not to. Uh, but it's got that bourbon candy kind of heat, which is nice. I mean, you just can't hide it. Um, wow. This is infinitely better. It's not even close. I'm very curious what happened that this beer tastes so much better because that the base was, or at least the bourbon barrel age straight up was so distractingly um, just all freaking tannins, like just like all the way. This is really nice and balanced. Vanilla is not too showy. Chocolate is not too showy. Coconut is not too showy. Rounded, supple in the middle. Dry from the booze, dry from the bourbon. Nice rich chocolate notes throughout. And I think the cacao helps push that chocolate flavor on the palate, offering the sweet chocolate, the mid chocolate, the chocolates, the dark chocolates. Mm. Mouthfeel's not super insane. Um, I mean, actually, 14, yeah, this is very good mouthfeel. It's not one of those beers that I always uh, dislike in bourbon barrel aged beers where it's sort of like stout plus barrel. It's integrated into the beer quite well. And now it tastes like I don't really get that much of the tannic bite. You know, I get mostly the vanilla, the bourbon, the bourbon influence from the vanilla, the, co uh, the co coconut, coconut, not even obvious. Sweetness is not dominant here. You think vanilla, coconut, you think it's a pastry stout? No. Full blind. You smell the vanilla, maybe a little bit of coconut, but like on the palate, it really sits more like a Bourbon County-esque kind of beer. Uh, somewhere in between that and Parabola. Leaning mostly towards um, Bourbon County. I'd say it's like 75% Bourbon County with some Parabola. A little hit of that nose of this, the adjuncts. The chocolate, now I notice, is a little bit syrupy in the middle, but like not in an obvious way. Like you look for it. That's so. That's such a great way to touch the beer that it's all those flavors of vanilla, coconut, and chocolate, but they work so well into the integration of the beer. So, like, I know, I think I, I, I think I get that beer somewhere in the eighties. This beer is not remotely close to that. I mean, it, whatever happened to this or whatever barrel was, again, I'm gonna have to ask entropy, entropy burning, but I suspect that this was treated differently. I suspect there's either more base beer here or it's a different barrel and something different happened because the base beer that I tasted, the straight burn barrel age, is no way what I'm having in this glass. 
he can tell me wrong otherwise. But there was that, that tannic bite you could not get away from. And no way did you add just vanilla, coconut, and chocolate and fix it all. Like, I, I, you know, like there's just so much of that bite on that one. And now you actually have like a really good beer and then like a really great beer. And then those adjuncts really just like float around. I will say for like, um, you know, advertising, the flavors are not there for what people want. When people want coconut, they want coconut. When they want vanilla, they want coconut, uh, vanilla, they want chocolate. Like they want all those flavors, obviously. What you built here and said is somehow had a really good base beer or good or very good. And then somehow those flavors just like integrate really beautifully. And unfortunately we live in a world where advertising that doesn't work. Uh, people want a coconut bomb. People want a vanilla bomb. I mean, vanilla rye is just, <laughs> it tastes like freaking, uh, you know, vanilla extract in your beer. And people love that, but you know, I personally don't love it, but um, even something like fundamental observation, it's just such a vanilla bomb. It's like, oh, it's like over the top, hit your head. But if you find a new world where people like more towards old money takers, like people into older beer, where they want more subtlety, more complexity, more of the base beer showing through with these other flavors sort of like integrating as the beer, then you're gonna have this and that's where it shines. But again, hype boys, TikTok, uh, ticking, ticking, uh, untap all that stuff. Advertising those ingredients into this beer makes a great beer, but I feel like people are gonna take it down. Like people are like three, I don't taste the coconut, right? <laughs> you know, like stuff like that nonsense, but this is a delicious beer, holy smoke. Sheets on the glass, yeah, that's killer. That is so freaking good. Hyper drinkability. Um, the actions sit there just at a perfect place. They're barely barely noticeable on the palate. Um, on the nose, the wood shows, the bourbon. I mean, this is a, oh, that is an amazing beer. Wow. So, um, yeah, the last one didn't hit expectations, but again, I need <laughs> I need him to post in the comments like what happened to this beer that it turned out like like worlds level apart. <sighs> I tend to rate the style quite high. Nice, thick and chewy as Burm County, but man, very few commercial beers even get remotely close to the quality of that beer. That's like a marshmallow from the nine nine. Nine nine, that is entropy brewing. Uh, this is Valhalla with vanilla, coconut, cacao. Until next thing, guys, cheers. Uh, check them out. Uh, He's probably releasing some bottles, home brewing. Hopefully one point he gets uh, professional. This is absolutely fantastic, world-class. Wow, what did you do this beer? Uh, I mean, pro brewers can't do this at all. <laughs> I, honestly, like there are so many brewer rallies, stouts that like don't even remotely touch this. So absolutely fantastic. Love where the ingredients are at. Those little adjuncts, it's like pin, pin, pin point. And they're subtle, they're perfect. They, I mean, Arguably, they accentuate like what a burn barrel age naked imperial stout is, but I think if you can do this, you can do it. It tastes great. The glass is what it is. 9-9. Nine, nine. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.